Hey dudes, I'm Hyla, and today on Hyla Cooking, we are making pesto. I'm gonna make classic basil pesto first, and then we're gonna make a cilantro jalapeno pesto, which is to die for, and also great when basil is really expensive or just not in season. So let's get started. It's super easy, and Chef Baby is gonna help. We're gonna start out with the basil pesto. This is a very traditional recipe, of course. So we just want a cup of basil leaves, tightly packed. Whenever you see recipes for pesto or other recipes that use a lot of fresh herbs, usually it'll say to tightly pack the cup. And that always threw me off when I was learning to cook when I was a kid because I was like, how tight do you mean should I pack it? What are you talking about? Um, so I'll show you what it means today. And also if you prefer to weigh stuff, that is about two ounces of basil, which is about 60 grams. Hey, Europeans, I'm here for you. Okay, so when it's tightly packed, that means that when you're not pressing down on it, it might be like overflowing the cup a little bit, but then when you kind of press on it, then it's, it's down in there, it's tightly packed. So move on, we're going to chop up some garlic. So even though we are gonna put this all in a little food processor, I still like to mince up the garlic first, just to make sure that it all gets tiny and you don't have any bites of garlic. Okay, well, Chef Baby totally ate that cilantro. I think the only way we can get him to be quiet is to set him next to me. Chef Baby likes to eat more than he likes to cook, though, honestly, between me and you. Okay, so into my little food processor chopper thingy, I'm gonna put the basil and two tablespoons of pine nuts. So if you don't wanna use pine nuts, you can use pecans or walnuts or even hazelnuts. Just kind of chop them up a little bit smaller before you put them in your food processor. Pine nuts are traditional, of course, but there is a thing called pine mouth, and if you've not ever heard of it, Google it. It's actually terrible, and I got it once from some pine nuts. And I've heard that pine nuts that are grown in China are more likely to cause this. It like totally just like up your taste buds for like 48 hours. Um, so maybe look for ones that are grown in the US or grown in Italy. I don't know where else they grow them, but um, you could also just avoid it altogether and use a different kind of nut. Okay. Those are in there. Put a little bit of salt and now the garlic. And then we're gonna add some olive oil. Try to use a nice, fancy olive oil. Not an imposter olive oil. And then we're just gonna blend this up. Okay, that looks pretty good. Into our little bowl. And if you wanted to save some calories or if you're just kind of a cheapskate like I am sometimes then you can use like replace half of the oil with some water when you're blending it don't tell any real Italians that I said that probably you get in big trouble okay now we can add some grated cheese and I don't know why I do this last but I do but it also is better if you're gonna freeze this which is pesto is a fantastic way to save summer's bounty. So you can totally make a bunch of pesto if you have a ton of basil or other herbs. I mean, you can make it with whatever you want. And put it in a little container and put another layer of oil on top so it doesn't get oxidized and put a lid on it and freeze it. Works great, but you do wanna add the cheese after it's thawed. And then just mix this together. And I'm gonna add maybe another tablespoon of olive oil to thin it out a little bit. It's up to you if you were putting this on as like a sandwich spread, you might wanna leave it thicker, but if you want it on pasta, then you might wanna thin it a little bit. And that's it. There's our basil pesto. Let's see what Chef Baby thinks. Flint. <laughs> Not interested, okay. Next is our cilantro. So for that, you just want a whole bunch of cilantro here. And just cut off the ends of the stems. There's a lot of flavor in cilantro stems, so we're gonna use that. And again, just pack it into the cup. Put that aside, and then we've got some garlic again. And a jalapeno. I'm gonna seed this, not because I'm a pussy, but because these are ungodly hot, and I don't really want this to be like something that you eat it and you're like, wow, this sure is hot, and then you like throw up. I want it to be spicy and warm and yummy. Not like someone has to dare you to eat it. So just coarsely chop this. 
and we're ready to blend. Half of a lemon, about a tablespoon of lemon juice. And some salt and some oil. I'm gonna just use safflower oil, you can use corn oil, canola oil, anything that's kind of mild flavored. Or you could use like coconut oil or peanut oil, I guess, if you wanted it, if you wanted to actually taste it, that would be cool. And then have like a Southeast Asian flair. All right. Here we go, chef. All right, delicious. Oh, it smells so good. I love the lemon juice in there. So there we have two pestos. Now either of these can be served on pasta, you can put it on bread, on a sandwich. The cilantro one, you can mix it into some rice. Super delicious, very versatile. Both can be frozen. I've got a little bit of sourdough here that I will try it on. So this recipe and all my recipes are always available at highlycooking.com. And don't forget to subscribe and maybe thumbs up or favorite it or something like that. Sorry. All right, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you try one or both of these pesto recipes and have a pesto party. Next week, I'm gonna do a flatbread pizza with pesto to show you another thing that you can do with pesto. Thanks so much, have a great week, and I will see you next time, bye.